one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com, and I'm fighting the sun today. And I'm trying to get this in between sun and not sun to get the interior as I can do it. Um, this here is a beautiful little 1972 um, 250C W114 here, I'm pretty sure. And I'll give you a quick walk around, but this one is basically the interior review. And beautiful car, it's got its little flaws here and there. And by now you've probably already seen any exterior flaws because I've showed you the exterior and underneath video. And very solid car. Um, my name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And that's the deal. I'm gonna get right to showing you the interior to where I don't miss the, the sun that's perfect for it right about now. Beautiful picture to grab. And I'm gonna ask him to can you park up there? Please. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Door panels are in great shape. Um, they're not hundred percent like new, you know. That one's got a little bit of a wave in it there, you can feel. And the seat, you got some tears and such. Um, it's a nice driver that you could restore at some point. You got a big hole in the seat in the covering, the vinyl covering. MB text. Tough text. Tough stuff. Thank you. Good, how about you? A little bit of wear on the pedal. The mats were glued to the carpet somehow. I don't know why they did that, but underneath, it's not rusty or anything. It's in beautiful shape. And I showed you this before, I'm sure. Um, in the back, they're also in great shape, but somebody glued these right to them. Um, extra added. They actually put a carpet kit in it, as you can tell, and then put that over them. Um, back seat is actually in the best shape of everything, and it doesn't really feel like it's been sat in. It's got a nice spongy feeling. The carpet on the rear package tray is not in the best of shape. Uh, the headliner is kind of old, but it's in good shape, except for a little tear and rip there. Missing the light. Hope you can see that, yep. And other than that, show you anything in the dash. A few cracks and such. Um, nothing out of level. Just cracked up a little bit. They're in there in the office if you're looking for someone. Yeah. You gotta go around this way though and then up. And this here, you're missing the radio. I get people coming here all day long. Um, I don't know exactly what's missing here. Oh, cigarette lighter. Now I know. I don't know what that green button's for. Actually, probably AC, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I think it's probably missing some kind of foam piece that goes over it. Mirror is tarnished or whatever you call it when it gets like that. Um, I don't know if that works. Nope. And the wood in here is, it's in good shape, but it's definitely got some of the clear coat coming off there. Hey look, I could have just cleaned it up like that and said how perfect it was. But the truth of the matter is it needs to have like a varnish put back on it and I would just get all this off and then go over it. So I try to show everything up front. I want you to know exactly what you're dealing with here. What the heck? Now I'm interested. It's locked. Gel. Hair gel. A battery cleaner. And some miscellaneous tools. But that's all there. I'll get the hair gel out of there for you. And I relocked it. It's a little bit out of kilter there. As you can see, that side is not really latching. Uh, so a little tinker in there. Radio, I think it's likely been cut out, just so you know. Um, all kinds of buttons and gizmos on these. Wow, it works! Very expensive item, 180, 280 bucks. That's your windshield pumper. And not only that, it's the parts in the back that's supposed to be there too, which is pretty key, pretty key. 
I gotta get you under the hood. Look at that sun. Just starting to peek through. Gonna ruin my exterior, I mean interior review. Matt is in good shape. Matt, what do you think of that? And all this is in good shape in here. Here's your reservoir, which should have been stuck up here on the thing a little bit better. That piece is a little curled up, and it'll fit up there better, Jack. Missing the spare, and it's solid right in the spare tire hub, or whatever you want to call it. But this, oh wow, look at that. Pretty cool. This right here, it's solid up here, just the surface is not, but right in here, it's not so solid. I think I have to weld a new piece in. As a matter of fact, I've got a four-door of these. I don't know if that piece works. But to show you everything, you got a couple spots there that'll need some attention. The guy could just weld in a new panel. They make them very easy. So make a great project. And it's something you can drive around in the meantime and enjoy. Um, fix it up slowly over time. You ain't gotta pay the big money to get the super restored thing right now. Clear coat peeling on there like I probably showed you by now on the exterior review. Okay, missing the headrest on this side. Door panel's in good shape, man. It's in good shape. You're missing the pocket over here, which makes me want to check. Oops, sorry. Nope, this one is not cracked, which is amazing, actually. Same thing. Glued down on the that. I don't know why. Like I say, underneath is clean as can be. Back of these seats in great condition. It, I want to say it could be leather, but I'm pretty sure it's MB Techs in these. You know, I'm going to pull that out for you. Boop, just like that. Look at the sun's come up. And bam, just like that, it's bright as can be. This could mess up our engine review. I love how they pulled off the hubcap. Better than most anybody. Oh man, that sun really threw a glitch in things here for me. Okay, well, let's show you under the hood. I'm hoping it goes away here in a second. Now, just so you know, in case I didn't say it in the other one, the middle part of that's gone. Just got Well, now, that wasn't very friendly. Look how wide them doors open. Yeah, buddy. Talk about easy access. Okay, here we go. The foam, or what have you, on the back here is in great shape. The whole motor is in great shape. It's got a power steering leak. Um, and your AC compressor spins free. But the belt's off, so I don't know what he was thinking, saving gas mileage or if the AC compressor is actually bad. Don't hit your head on that, it hurts. Ouch. I'm not paying attention to that, I'm paying attention to this. It's been apart at some point. That gasket just looks so nice. Um, this side, a little cracked up, but in great shape. Um, and you can see where our power steering problem took off here. And it's got a leaky line there, a leaky, leaky, leaky thing there going on. And that is that. I think through this you'll be able to see this just fine. If not, I've got pictures in my eBay and website ad. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can check that out. Absolutely beautiful. California blue plate, original blue plate car. W114 and it's a 70. I gotta make sure here and look at my text. I got so many. 72. Had to make sure. Well, there's another look at the steering wheel. Man, it's in great shape as well. And other than that, that's the deal for the interior. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. GreyCongo.com for my African Grey Congo parrot, BeaglesPocket.com for miniature pocket beagles, and StockGambles.com for stocks and such. Thanks for watching. That's your interior review. 
and I'm done and I'm gonna say goodbye and you can call me up anytime Nathan 406-544-6919 will ship this to any port in the world you just let me know oneownercarguy.com <laughs>